journal editor published a study showing that red meat was not nearly as bad as everybody thinks it is. Mm. And she literally had her life threatened. Wow. By leading academic nutrition scientists and their mafia <laughs> because she did that. She actually went on record as saying, I have published studies showing that gun violence is dangerous. The people from the NRA were not as violent or threatening as these diet quacks are. And I'm calling them diet quacks because they're doing that, but these diet quacks are at leading Ivy League institutions. They are some of the leading... Yeah nutrition experts in the world. We don't have to name them, but I know who you're talking and about. And if they can't tolerate science and evidence, and if they can't tolerate a discussion or a debate, like what does the world come to in nutrition science? Like, it, so it's crazy. So anyway, so I am a huge fan of low-carb diets. I am a huge fan of the ketogenic diet in the right place for the right people under the right circumstances. Some people do really well with keto and sometimes maybe even for life. And I would never want to stand in that person's way. Would I still want to pay attention to metabolic biomarkers? Absolutely. So do I want to look at their glucose levels? Do I want to look at insulin resistance? Do I want to even look at cholesterol levels? Yeah, sure, I do. I certainly want to look at blood pressure and other things. Um, and if if they have achieved metabolic health through whatever diet they're doing, if they're eating lots of ground beef and bacon every day, if they've achieved metabolic health, who am I to stand in their way and say that what they're doing is dangerous? That is stupid. Yeah. That is like ignoring the evidence in front of you. And yet some of these diet warrior people will do that. But at the same time, I'm also not going to stand in the way of somebody who wants to be a vegan or somebody who wants to be a vegetarian. I'm not going to stand in their way. I'm not going to say, oh, you're, you're just poisoning yourself. You, you have to eat meat. Everybody's <laughs> got to eat meat. Meat is the only thing that will allow the human species to go on. I don't believe that. Like, But with a vegan in particular or a vegetarian, I am going to want to pay attention to biomarkers in them. Are you getting enough essential nutrients? Are you getting enough vitamin B12? Are you getting enough protein? Do you have symptoms of, you know, uh, sarcopenia, you know, muscle wasting, or, you know, are you underweight um, because you're not getting enough bioavailable protein or other nutrients? Are you iron deficient, if, especially if you're a woman? Um, those are really critically important nutrients and vegans are at very high risk for being deficient in those nutrients. Mm. And I'm not saying that to be mean to vegans. I'm saying that to just like be real with vegans. And um, just like I want to be real with people on a ketogenic diet yeah. and I want them to look out for nutritional deficiencies that are specific to the diet they're following. Of course.